In this video, we'll balance the equation for CaOH2 plus NH4Cl. This is calcium hydroxide plus ammonium chloride. To balance this equation, we're going to use a bit of a trick to make it easier. So we have one calcium, but then the hydroxide, this OH, that's the hydroxide ion. It's a polyatomic ion. We have it here and in the products. So we're going to count it as just one thing. We have one hydroxide times two. So we'll have two hydroxides in the reactant. We also have NH4, the ammonium ion, here and here. So we're just going to say one ammonium ion and then one chlorine. So this is a lot neater than writing all of these things out. You get the same answer. It's just a lot faster. Here on the product side, we have one calcium. We have the one hydroxide, one ammonium ion, and then two chlorines. So we can see right away we're going to need to fix either the hydroxides or the chlorines. Let's fix the chlorines first. Let's put a two right here. So one times two gives us two of those, but we have our hydroxide times two as well. So now we have two of those. So now it looks like we have two ammonium ions here and only one here, two hydroxides here and only one here. If we put a two here, one ammonium times two, that'll give us two. Those are balanced. The hydroxide times two, that gives us two of those. We're done. This equation is balanced. So you can see when we count these polyatomic ions as one thing, as long as we have them on both sides, it makes it a lot easier to balance. It saves you time, and that's important on exams. One thing to note here is this is a double displacement reaction. When we get this NH4OH, all of these will be aqueous. This will actually be mostly in the form of NH3 and H2O. Sometimes you'll see the products as CaCl2 plus NH3 plus H2O. But if you are given this equation to balance, this is how you do it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.